Hello guys, my name is Joel Mkanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Tales. For today's video, we're going to cover some example on jQuery event. So as I mentioned on our previous video, every time we want to start with our jQuery code, we must specify this the most important one, our document already. Then after this done, so I want to create the next step. I want to create a form. Uh, we don't need the name. We can replace with ID. So this will allow us to display the output, give it ID of, of output, and the last thing that we need will be a button. So we need to say display name, sign, display name, and we give it an ID of display. All right. So, Let's specify just a place order right here and I will say enter your name. So, after that, uh, our first target will be the button. Then we use the, since we specify the ID, then we say this uh, hashtag and the ID name. For, uh, is display uh, dot click then we pass the function okay so let's fetch the value from the from the input elements so this will be name equals to dollar sign ID sorry ID and name dot right. so when we are also to fetch the value from the that particular uh, element. So since it's an input um, it's an input uh, element, so it has uh, one of the attributes called value. So remember in JavaScript we will say dot value, but in jQuery it's going to be dot file method. It's a method. Okay. Then after that, uh, we need to say dollar sign where we're going to display this name. It will be ID. It was it was output. Uh, then dot. Um, let me check. Is it level? Then we believe the test will stay going to be fine. Then we post name right here. The name. This name is uh, our attribute. Uh, our variable. I mean, it's our, our variable. And then we pass our variable as the argument to the test method so let's have a look so there's one thing that i want to prevent the, um, the reload of the page when we click on the button is to specify the type as button so this will make sure that the page we're not going to be so i'm going to be a fresh overload Okay, so I just wait a few seconds, it's loading. Okay. 
here we go and then I believe uh, we can just uh, put a one there and just double click one and press that uh, and here we go then let's have a look at another um, event we can just comment this one here yeah. then the last one that i'm going to use it's going to be okay so let me just explain something to you uh, so you can also use uh, the on event so the on event you need it's a method on is a method right and then um you need to pass an event as the first argument. It can be a uh, click, you press any event that you want to pass. You see, that's why I specify uh, events. Okay, let me try to zoom in. Uh, okay, uh, not too much. Okay. This is fine. So as you can see, for for this one here, uh, the selector and then the on, that will be your method, and then you can pass an event. So as this example that I have, then you can pass the key event or the key press event. Then the second argument you pause the function, and then instead of that function you provide your code. Okay. Then if uh, you want to remove this, then you can make use of off. Then I'm going to use this one as our next example. So we specify the assign. Uh, so this will be uh, our target is uh, the name where the user is going to type in the name. Let me say at name dot key press key press. Uh, I believe this is key press, and then we passing a function. A single function and then that's it and then we can just uh, specify console.log and then we say uh, we're done so as long we typing something as long the key is pressed on that particular element then this um this function will get fired uh, let's have a look we just have to first okay first let's put it in space and then i can refresh it in any time then we go to console no as long as I press a key in this element, you see, I just click on it, but I didn't press on it. I didn't press a key on it. So let's press maybe a T, then I press T, then there should be something that display comes out uh, with that. Uh, so let me see. Let me see what is on. And name and storage key press. Okay, there's no error, so I'm going to refresh it one more time and drop any key. Okay, here we go. And then as you can see, as long I'm keep on pressing the keys on the keyboard then it's the incrementing the number right there you see all right because the key is a key was pressed so 
we have key press, uh, key down, and key up. Those are also are the event. Once the key is down, then what you want to achieve? Then once the key is up, what else do you want to do? What do you see? And then key press is just focusing on the uh, when the key was pressed. All right. So I think that would be key down. Yeah. So once the key is pressed, then something will happen. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And do remember to do some exercise on check weight events. Right.